Hello everyone, I'm Russian Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as the Russian Empire. So last time, Prussia was having one heck of a time, and Poland was as well. So they're kind of neighbors, except one of them doesn't exist anymore, for good reason. Uh, let's let time go on first, so we can lower our infamy just a little bit more. Uh, let's see, these guys are at war. Like, you know, I want to... I really want to get more colonies. I really want to just bash myself into China and have a good time with ourselves there, but... Some of the comments say, you know what? We should get some African colonies. Ooh, curtail distribution, yeah. Also, I have a negative colonial points just because I haven't really been trying to... statify some of these Siberian provinces, because actually a lot of these are just still literal colonies out here. So, it is what it is. Uh, so I can make more ships. I make more, like, capital ships. I can get more score, more naval score, military score, and more colonial points. That's one way to do it. So, I I know things are going on about that stuff, so... But, I really want to core finish this up first before making a navy, in which you have to scrap your old ships eventually because they're outdated. I, I hate always hate doing stuff like that. Oh, we have, we have four national focuses. That's a lot. <laughs> cool. Denmark, Sweden. So, someone also said, go to Africa. We want African, Russian African places. Colonies. And someone said, get to Nigeria, which I think is Sokoto. Nigeria, modern-day Nigeria, has a lot of population. It's fairly advanced in some regions for, you know, Africa. It's pretty advanced. Uh, I probably would probably strike at Wari first. Oh, nice. Probably start strike at Wari. They got bananas. They got some fruit and some stuff like that. Other places here don't seem very interesting to grab. It's pretty much all the same stuff. I mean, that might have wood, which ain't bad. I like wood, but uh, it's it's all right, you know. So I'll probably get Wari just because they are on a little hump. I like the little hump there. And maybe, perhaps, after them, this group, Beniz Benin. Trarza, huh. Ching, acquire, okay. So Ching China's back together. Oh man, I feel so punished in HPM that I can't do too much with colonizing and taking over countries. So, the Royal Geographic Society has announced that an award will be presented to the first explorer who determines the source of the Nile. Oh yeah, we're going. Oh yeah, I don't care how much it costs. We need some Russian prestige, and why does this look so bad? Um, I have been wanting to make more armies in Asia. We have one, two, three, four... Let us make... One more, and then we'll send one group to Africa. Let's do that. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's throw in a Lithuanian dude in there. One, two, three, four. We'll send the Poles to Asia, or the Chechens. Let's do that. That sounds like fun. Now, how much infamy would it take for me to get to a Wari? Protectorate? 15. So that's... Oh my god, that's quite a bit. So we've got our guys here in Haiti. A good Caribbean province, I guess, since it's not a core. Which is nice. we got some extra Diplo points. UK. We'll be nice to everyone. Because we want as many possible options. Oh, they really hate us now. We want as many possible options when the first Great War spawns, which won't happen for like 60 years probably. Oh, yeah, they're going to war again. Let's see, what did I want to see? National focus is that's right. Good. All right, maybe we can start coring some of these places. I'm probably just going to call it coring from here on out. Probably. You guys, I definitely want <clears throat> Primori, or in Vladivostok region, outer Manchuria, to be cored as fast as possible. So, Lashia, good, good, good. Get as many intellectuals in Kursk as possible. At this point, I will ally the Greeks. Just because the Ottomans, we've been trying to be very nice to them, but they haven't been very nice to us. The plight of 1859. Phytophthora is in Festons, the dreaded potato blight, has struck one of our farming provinces. S starving smallholders in some places driving whole families from their homes, the potato blight has caused a localized famine that threatened to spread. <sighs> you know what? Help them out. Help our fellow people out. Let's see, what is the intellectual level here? In Kursk. 2.3, that's not enough. They're all Eastern Orthodox, which is great. I'm about to sneeze. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. So, 
Whenever I play Victoria 2, it always feels like I have to rush just taking people out all the time. Oh, good. Good one. Oh, Burma. It always feels like I have to do that. Which makes sense. Oh, we get, we're making quite a bit of money. Mm, I can't lower the taxes too much more. Uh, lower maybe taxes a little bit on the middle class since we're making an okay issue amount. Spending is pretty okay. Tobolsk is looking pretty. Oh, oh, what's going on? French. Oh, so they're trying to hit, kill each other. Interesting. They were allies. Austria. Oh, they some Jacobin rebels. Oh. So it's of course them and them, them and them. So France and Austria were allied with each other for quite a while. Oh, they have Belgium. Do they have Belgium? They have the Netherlands and Belgium. And oh, that is interesting. You know what? Sure, beat each other up to the point where everyone's weak around me. That's fine with me. Oh, heck yeah. And maybe we'll give war subsidies to the loser. Probably Austria's going to be the loser just because it's... Like, Austria's always a little difficult to play. Always a little difficult. Alright. Oh. Kutat. I said it before. You didn't want it. Nejed. Hmm. They're not that strong. They have four, four score. I think the Greeks are enough for now. I might ally with these guys, too. I really don't know. Uh, and Burmese Pegu. Cool. Very cool. French War. Oh, they pieced out. One of them pieced out. That's good. Let's see the French are winning so far. Oh, but the... Oh, the, the South Germans have arrived in Alsace-Lafringen, or Alsace-Lorraine. Oh, Belgium pieced out. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a, We can do a reform! Finally! We can do some sort of reform. So we can have illegal trade unions, which we have right now, or we can go with social reform to desire for trade unions. Voting? Oh, no. I don't want the people to vote. No, no, no. We, get, we have closed borders. Oh, we get more infamy from that. That hurts our immigration. We can open the borders. Plurality is at 45%. We have revanchism. What it was taken from us? Hmm. State press only. Literacy impact on con. Censored press. More political awareness so we can get more political reform sound like a good idea. Closed borders really is not good for literacy. But let's, come on, let's grab more education. Tons of education, please. Tons and tons and tons. Oh, they're actually doing fairly well over here. What's going on with this? Demobilize. Sikkim. Very cool. <clears throat> Oh, now the French are losing. Austrians? Yeah, you never know. The Austrians might win. They might not. They do have fewer soldiers, though. And Prussia is trying to annex some German miners. Well, good luck, guys. I'm okay, Lippity Dep mode. I'm okay. Nice. You never know. Two Sicilies might form Italy someday, so. And the Americans love us like they should. Artificial cements. <gasps> Can I make a cement factory? No, I'm not allowed to build factories. Come on, guys. Please build stuff. Uh-oh. Prussia's entered military, uh, military alliance with the UK, which means nothing. Ottoman, Qatar. Oh, yeah, makes sense, yeah. Yeah, I would not ally the, the, the UK. They're not very good. Well, at least in that one war, they weren't. Let's see. Keep those guys there. Good. Where else do we need more bureaucrats? Is there any place that has more ethnic Russians? I'd like more ethnic Russians, please. Uh, maybe Ukraine. They might still get it because they're an accepted culture. You guys are doing okay. You guys over here are doing a little better. That's good. FB 1860. This is going to be a fun decade for the Americas. Or at least for North America. Oh. Austria. White Peace. Cool. Continuous paper making machines. We finally figured out how to make a paper factory in 1860. Gotta love it. Alright, so they annex them. Oh, people are... Oh! So it's just France now versus all these guys. Interesting, interesting. Closed borders. Maybe I should have gotten rid of closed borders. Just have a little bit, tiny bit more infamy. Get, uh, loss. But look at that. Come on, help educator peoples. What is it like 
here. Kursk. Percent that our intellectuals is still at 2.8. That's pretty darn good. Population density. Kazan. Let's move intellectuals here from Kursk. Cool. Alright, can we get another military leader? Hanover, I'm okay. Is that the place we wanted to do? I think we did. We made him? Awesome. Now, I'm gonna get, scrap you, because you're not that great. Actually, let's take that off. I think Asia has enough armies for now. I want to make another army for... Colonies. Colonies. One, two, three, four... And I want another Ukrainian boy. There you go. And one. Cool. Let's do that. Annals of Lithuanian history curtail the distribution. That would be good. Uh, sure. Netherlands, sure. Government wants to achieve reform. Reforms will come when the time is right. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. Oh, more plurality. Great. Meritocracy versus aristocracy. Sorry about that. I had to blow my, to blow my nose. So. Oh, what's going on here? What did they do? Austria accepted the peace offer from somebody. Tuscany. Uh-oh. Secularization, but war exhaustion. What is going on? Prussia broke their alliance with Crown Court on mine. Brandenburg. Her general died. Oh, well... They called him in, but I guess nothing happened. Cool. Whatever. Doesn't really matter to us. And pretty much most of the other great powers love us. And we almost have nationalism and imperialism, and Switzerland has found, or founded, socialism. Interesting. More plurality? Great. Come on, give me more reforms. Who are... Re oh. People really want rights to vote. Oh, what is that? Muslim socialists. What kind of icon is that? Huh. Your government value the kings, yes. So, the Valley of the Kings, Egypt, is a potentially endless source of new archaeological discoveries. By petitioning the government for a monopoly to carry out excavations in the Valley of Kings, we can ensure that we make these fantastic discoveries rather than other great powers, yes. Ah, yes, thank you, thank you, Egypt, very much, very good. We get more prestige until the end of the game, and higher relations with them. Yeah, we'll take them out. And now we can expel the Chinese. So, the Pacific Coast, called H by the Chinese, was settled mainly by the Chinese and Manchus during the Qing Chi Dynasty period. The Manchus banned Han Chinese from most of Manchuria, including the Haishirwai area. It was only visited by illegal gatherers of sea cucumbers. The Manchus are still a majority in most of outer Manchuria, and we can't force them to assimilate. Something can spell trouble in the future. Our advisors recommend that we try to throw them out so we can strengthen our claim in the area. Should we succeed in expelling them, we can greatly increase the region's attractiveness to immigrants. Ooh. Yeah. And now we can claim Oriank Hai. Oriank Hai. After the demarcation of the Sino Russian border by the Treaty of Kayata in 1727, the Qing inexplicably replaced border guards south of the Tanu Ola Mountains, separating Tanu Oriank Hai from outer Manchuria, not along the Cyan Mountains separating the region uh, from Russia. During the 19th century, Russians began to settle in Tuva. The Qing dynasty allowed Russians to settle, providing that they lived in boats or tents. Okay. This historical basis and the Russian population living there provides us with an excuse to add the territory of Tanu Tuva to the Russian border, and the founding of a new Russian city will only strengthen our claims. So, we get... Oh, we rename it to Kaisel. And the Qing Chinese didn't like that. It's a good thing I don't care about them. Oh, we can form Turkestan. That's kind of cool. How do we do that? Oh. Oh, we want the lease as well, so we need naval plans and then something else. Annexation of Tanu Tuva. That's pretty, sounds pretty early to me. I thought that they did that in the 1940s. Steam turbine. Oh, maybe we want steam turbines. Russify them. Revolution, counter revolution. Return to Third Rome. Do I need technology for that? No. Peasant reform. I definitely want to get the peasant reform. That'll definitely help us, but it has to be after 1870. We have to have a constitutional monarchy or a militancy at least four. We have another 
national focus that we can use. But the government has to be liberal. Create Yugoslavia, that sounds like fun. Search for the GNCs. Hmm. Excavations? International pres pressure. Very awesome. That sounds very cool. <clears throat> now, I'm obviously ignoring a lot of my military just so I can build myself up a little bit more. I have to get empiricism because research points are key. But, administrative stuff, you get maybe some of that. Probably go up beyond 69. Nice. But we'll see what happens. Let's see. He died. Populists. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pan Slavic. West. Oh, Westerner. Uh, no official policy on welfare. Pan Slavic sounds like fun. Oh. <clears throat> Jingoistic socialists with a full welfare state. Hmm. Hmm. Already, this region is looking better. Over here, we have you guys doing pretty darn well. Ottomans, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, maybe we'll make some capital ships right now. Let's go ahead and make some. Well, I guess we don't really very much at all. Give me, like, a big old thing of clever transports. We're going to need a lot eventually. I'll destroy them eventually just because you don't want to always use them. You want to have steam transports eventually, which I guess I don't have. Hmm. The retreat. On the third day, they were attacked by Machu points for, from all points, and a fearful slaughter ensued. The troops kept on, and awful scenes took place. Without food, mangled, and cut to pieces, each one caring only for himself, all subordination had fled. And soldiers of the 44th Russian Regiment are now reported to have knocked down their officers with the butts of their muskets. Just seven days after the retreat commenced, one man, bloody and torn, mounted on a miserable pony pursued by horsemen, was seen riding furiously across the plains of the coast. The sole survivor to tell the tale of the Seralian Ula ambushed. Our attempts to expel the Manchu from outer Manchuria have been met with stiff resistance, and her troops suffered a major blow while trying to expel them. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is going to be fun then. Oh, you can expel the Chinese again. Oh, how many times is that going to happen? Bureaucrats are looking really good down here, though. Looking mighty nice. France. Modena. Plurality. Cool. They're still fighting these few guys. They're still fighting France. They're really killing each other off. How's Prussia doing? The Eastern Islands. Natural holdings. Great. We lose a little bit of literacy. That's okay. So can't core that stuff. Oh, wait. Now we can claim the Sakhalin Islands. Russia's ruled the lands from of Sakhalin Island for some time now, and much of the archipelago's population is Russian. It's time we let the world know that we consider these lands to be the core Russian territory, which we will defend to the last. Oh, yeah, and that's an actual event. I can't just, just do that. Cool. Oh, it just becomes a core. We can't even get that. Oh, I thought we could get that. Manchuria has problems. That's pretty normal. Oh, they really like us. The UK does not. That's okay. Make sure you got some rebels. Ah, uh, reactionaries. They should be able to take care of it. I can't even go in your land, so I don't really care too much. And if you break free, that just gives me an excuse to go to war with you, maybe. So, yeah, they're coming in by. So, that's okay. And Denmark has Jacobin rebels. Alright, so what's happened? France says, sorry to Piedmont. Oh, requires Lombardia. Oh, Austria's looking a little weak there. All those dead guys, and for what? What do you have to show for it? Nothing. Nope. Cool, we got 12.75 infamy. Please give me another reform. I would love to have another reform. How's America looking? They still haven't done the gas and purchase for some reason. Pretty Yankee throughout. Let's look at the culture stuff. It's pretty Yankee everywhere except the South, of course. I got some African American culture down there, too. Texas is fairly, well, was fairly Texan. Huh, there's not that many people there. Oklahoma isn't more Dixie? Huh. But this part of Kansas is. Colonial Exposition. A rousing cheer for the Empire. Of course. Looking pretty interesting around here. Oh, some Russians are here. Some Russians around here. Some Russians around here. There's a lot of Kazakh. How can I do this? I need more... Oh, I need colonial power. That's all I need. I'm trying to make ships. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. We're making enough money at this point where I'm going to comfortably say 
Besides trying to get by all this stuff. Oh, we're already buying that stuff. What about steel steamers? Because I do want to have these guys eventually. Let's see. Mining boom on lots. That's okay. I don't mind buying as much things as I need right now for later. I like having stockpiles of a lot of things. Since I'm not using my money too much. And prices might be high, but I'd rather have a good stockpile. Just in case we might go to war and I can't buy goods later. Oh, maybe not do that. Go ahead and keep automating that. Steel. Let's, eh, we're pretty good on that. Iron. Wood. Go ahead and stockpile just in case. <laughs> I bet you, you can flood the market with your stockpiles and stuff. So that's kind of cool. Migration policies. What? Oh, no. Infrastructure. Can I? Oh, maybe I can build up infrastructure here? Yes. We still have only level 1 infrastructure, which isn't really great. It's better than some places, of course, though. But, you know, still. Oh. Hello. Oh, the Pope. You, uh, I have a feeling probably not. We don't agree on a lot of religious things. But you never know. And... It, the British are attacking India once again. Diplomatic stuff, revolt risk. Uh, let's double check our national focuses. You guys are looking pretty good. You guys are almost there. You guys are there as well. You guys are good. So, more administrative efficiency. Thank you. And I'm not sure how to colonize these places faster. You know, make them become us more... Uh, put a port there, that's fine. No, Denmark, I'm okay. Hmm. I know it just comes with time eventually. If that's the case, just keep doing more regions here. How is the percentage of intellectuals doing over here? Well, they're at 3.2%. That's probably pretty good. How about Minsk? Culturally... Smosk, perhaps? Yeah, I some more intellectuals here. That'd be good. That'd be very nice. Breton culture, huh? This Russian coffee is pretty good. 18.9% of our people can read. Good, good, good. I really don't want to risk going over the infamy limit just yet. Besides, I'm trying to make more boats. Uh, we almost have empiricism, and we do. You guys looking great down here. Can't do anything about this. Nope. I do want steel railroads, though. Steel railroads would be... Oh, population growth would be so nice. Even though we're doing pretty well in population at the moment. I do need naval plans, though, because there's a decision over here. Oh, we can sign the Geneva Convention. We get more daily infamy. Oh, let's do that. Why not? We'll, we'll sign it for now. We can always say we don't want it later, I think. I think I just looked to communism or fascism to do that, though. Abolish these guys. Hmm. Turkestan sounds like a lot of fun, to be honest with you. So do this. We need... Mm, high Seas Battle Fleet. Steel Railroads. Revolution and Counter-Revolution. Or we need Steam Turbine. Can I get the Steam Turbine? Oh, let's go to Industry. Steel... Oh, that's over there. We technically could get it, but we're so far behind. I think we'll just go with organic chemistry first, and then we'll do some railroads. Because even if... I, we have level 1 railroads, but even now, like, it does nothing. So. I'm okay, Morocco. Don't really need it right now. Do we have another army stack? Yes, we do. Very nice, very nice. Just in case, build one here in Kiev. Curse of the Pharaohs. Oh, no. What next? Comet sighted? Oh, boy. You know, raise that militancy up a little higher, guys. Just because... <clears throat> you might... The conservatives of our government might give into reforms if we're very militant. Netherlands, annexation, annexation, 
Imam Shamal is captured. Okay, this is important. So, warfare in the Caucasus finally ended in 1863 when a two quarter million strong army under General Baryatinsky broke the mountaineers' resistance. After his capture, Shamil went to St. Petersburg to meet the Emperor Alexander II and swear allegiance to the Tsar. Afterwards, he was exiled to Kaluga, then a small town near Moscow. After some time in Kaluga, he complained to the authorities about the climate, and Shamil received permission to move to Kiev, a commercial center of the, year, of the Empire Southwest. In Kiev, he was afforded a mansion in Alexandrovskaya Street. The imperial authorities ordered the Kiev superintendent to keep Shamil under strict but not overly burdensome surveillance and a lot of the city is significant sum for the needs of the exile. Shamil seemed to have liked his luxurious det detainment, as well as the city. This is confirmed by the letters he sent to Kiev. A manifesto of Tsar Alexander II declared hostilities ended in 1863. Nice. Which sounds extremely weird, just because, like, he spent so he spent so much time killing Russian guys off because we wanted their land. But now we gave him a mansion in Kiev. Like, that's that worked out really well for the Shamil guy. That's really cool. If you want to, end up like Shamil. Kill off your enemies, and they might reward you with a mansion in Kiev. Very nice. And I love coffee. Cool. Um, did I send... Yeah, I told you guys to make more ships. Where are my ships? Persia. Uh, this doesn't even matter too much. Cool. If anything, by the, by the end of this campaign, I want to make sure we beat the snot out of the Ottomans because they broke our friendship and we were buddy buddies. Uh, obviously I want more, I want China. No one's invading China, yeah, except the British, but even they've stopped for a while now. I really don't care about European affairs too much. I just want to make sure that I'm the strongest. That's really probably my goal. Uh, control intellectuals, absolutely. Seriously, how do I get to my navy? Where, where are they? I'm gonna make more, there you are. Oh, you're, oh, you're down here, God. Oh. You guys are suffering from a lot of diseases down here, aren't you? I think I can build a fort down here too. Yeah. Hmm. Give me my navy back. You guys can come over here, probably. Because these guys are building stuff up. You guys can go down here. And let's go and just five. On. Quarry. Takes so long to wait for infamy to go down. <clears throat> Alright, good. A little less conservative. That's okay. They're starting to mobilize again. Peace puppets. Uh, sure, Persia. Sure. I know trying to conquer these guys isn't a good idea for my colonial points, but you know, whatever. Uh, what are you... Why do I just have a bunch of Cossacks here? Culture Kampf. Crackdown. Population decline. Sure, why not? Alright, let's build up another army then. One, two, three... Or, uh, no, Bavaria, I don't want to get involved in those affairs. Uh, don't, not a cursor, but Ukrainian dude, and then Sarkasin, Ukrainian, Ukrainian, Russian, Ashkenazi. Cool. <clears throat> oh, so DV Piedmont is a great power, no longer two Sicilies. Prussia, Austria, UK. And let's get Persia back. Very good, very good. And double check our national focuses. Almost 20% of our population can read. That's awesome. Cool. You're at 100%. Ooh, I might not be able to get 100% here because there's mostly just Romanians. And I don't know if they really like us. Oh, it only costs 6.8. That's awesome. Good, good. It's good. What about Russian Alaska? Oh, we're pretty good there too. I'd like to core them someday, but let's see what happens. Uh, administratively, we're doing pretty well. Bureaucrats. Maybe we could throw bureaucrats here. I might send bureaucrats to my colonies in Asia first, though. See, 30 appointed. Eh, it's going up. That's pretty good. Malaysia. The warry menace. <laughs> Good, let the beer crest go up a little higher. Maybe, 38.8, you're at 45, 41 and a half. Oh, it's definitely going up, that's nice. 41 and a half, might not go any higher. Our ships have arrived, great. Spend more on the military right now. And we still have enough money. <clears throat> let our guys get a little more morale and organization. Civil violence, intervene eventually. Just let the population go down a little bit first. 
And let me get, give me just one more month, and then we'll send these guys off. Minus three colonial power. Well, it's about to get worse. There you go. We'll go to war by August. Oh, nice. Let's grab some early railroads. You know, organic chemistry to help more population. That sounds nice. Get fuel. National fraternity. Great. All right. Let him get on the boat. And we're sailing on a boat down to Africa. Oh, wait. We have some place being siege down? Um, where is that? Just in case, guys. Go ahead and do that. Do we have rubble somewhere? Diplomacy, population, reforms, movements, Jacobins. Yeah, people are actually liking us quite a bit now. Which is good. It's always good to have people like you, usually. Uh, anything else around here? Wine output production, any upgrades? Uh, forts. Amour. Very nice, very nice. Anything right there? No. Very good. Oh, we got another ship made. 20% of our population can read. I'm so proud of you guys. So proud. A lot of you guys can read. Cool, Wari. Hello there. Hopefully we can drop these guys off and they don't do too much against us. And it doesn't look like they're moving towards St. Petersburg. You're a lady. May the memory live long. Yes. Good. Now, make sure that they can't do much against us. And once... I'm probably going to start expanding quite a bit more. Trying to get closer to Sokoto. Nice. These guys are looking pretty good. And let's commence a battle. They're actually killing off quite a few hundred of us a day. We lost... 6,500? Wow, that's a lot. Definitely need to increase my military. <clears throat> Make my military better, at least. Yeah, I, I feel not super good about this no industrial score yet. <clears throat> very nice, very nice. Anything else going on I should be aware of? Oh, what's that? Oh, boy. So, Dina Piedmont is really whooping people now. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. I love colonial adventures. Oh, there's slaves down here. We have Russian slaves, maybe. Ah, finally you are in my sphere, my friends. Hmm. If I ally with Austria, they're going to go to war with Prussia someday. Which, actually, they finally connected this area here. I kind of want to see Prussia form Germany. Kind of. Because I do, I don't like seeing all these small little puppet states. Hmm. Well, I guess yes or not. We can take the prestige hit later, I suppose. Could be worse. Great job, guys. Y'all deserve a pat on the back. We got bananas. We got some fruit. We got a political machine, and we've got some grain. Not bad. Pretty good. Hmm. Let's see what's next. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, they. That that's good. So they got some cattle. What's the livestock? In this country up here, a lot of livestock. We really want tea, fruit, and fish. So we got more livestock and grains. That doesn't help us at all. So I'll probably go with the. Gr How much grain do we have? We're exporting grain. We have too much grain. I'll probably just go go to war to get the livestock then. We will go to war with Benin next. Oh, good. We're gonna get some railroads. That's nice. That's nice. I love the railroads. Mechanized stuff. Culture stuff. I really want those naval plans because it might help us out. 21%. Oh, Italy's here! Great! Italy, yes! Now, actually, we can maybe... If I ally with Italy, we might be able to attack the Ottomans from two sides. Would you like an alliance? No, okay. <laughs> okay, you don't want an alliance. I mean, it makes sense for Italy to form. It is middle... <clears throat> 1860s, so... Von Berg is dead. So be it. Uh, whatever. And... Oh, boy. Oh, who are you fighting? Oh, oh, you know what? This is exactly what I said earlier. Nope, I only lost three prestige. Whatever. I really don't care about European affairs. Do I want to lose any more prestige? 
The French don't have claims on Italy, do they? Well, Italy has no claims on France. Ugh. Could help contain Prussia. Mm, screw it, we'll do it. So be it. So be it. And double check this. National focuses. You guys looking great. Oh, oh yeah, let's get some railroads here. <clears throat> you guys looking pretty good. How many intellectuals do we have here? What percentage? 3.4%. That's that's kind of high, not going to lie. How about Bransk? Bransk? Some Ashkenazi Jews. That's kind of cool. Let's see. And... Cool. Bureaucrats are looking mighty fine. We have one, two, three, four. Cool. And look at all this place. We could build ourselves up mighty nice with more railroads. No, Kutai. I wanted you before, and you said no. I might still be trying to sphere you, or you're in my sphere, but I still say no. <laughs> uh, Persia, yeah, whatever. The sick man of Europe, well... Russia might have been the sick man of Europe before the Ottomans. Uh, build them up too. The Finns are always good to build up. As long as they're under us. Wallachia? Yeah, build all these areas up. Tons of railroads. Tons and tons and tons. We must industrialize eventually. You guys, you're busy building. Even in the Ukrainian regions, we build you up to make you better. Our generals keep dying. We got some explosive factory output. Even though we have no factories, because we don't believe in those. Mitigate policies a little bit. Keep them ignorant. No, no, no. Do not keep them ignorant in some places. Ignorance does not help us in some places. The col colonies, yes. Keep them completely ignorant. I'm glad I have quite a bit of extra money to do this. But you know what just popped in my head? I'm still paying you guys way too much. There you go. That should help our budget a little bit, maybe. That's a definite maybe. Let's see what happens. The Maiji Restoration. Oh. Oh, boy. That does not sound good for our East... Eastern Adventures, let's say. Maple Plan is coming along. 1866. The American Civil War might have already fired, and I'm, just not, and I'm just not paying any attention to it. Because railroads are awesome. Good and good. Oh yeah, here too. And here. Grab some ports because we can. Railroads looking mighty fine. Oh, they did the gas and purchase too. Oh, they humiliated. Oh, I should have just allied with... I should have just helped Austria out because they just smacked down Italy. Oof. Cool. Now, what is this other decision we could take that needed that naval plans? Peasant reforms. The Russian Niger... Oh, company. Oh. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah. A gene... Oh, a, oh, this is a gene civilization. We need social sciences. Huh. I'd like to create Romania, too, someday. Hmm. Return to Third Rome. Rusify. Revolution, counter-revolution is always good to have. Steam turbine, of course. Yeah, there's that one. Oh, iron railroads. Trans-Siberian Railway. Oh, I was I was building it up for no reason. Well, I mean, it's for future stuff. Nice. More railroads! Is it Manchuria that has rebels again? No, it is Persia. Persia, you're having a little bit of a wee bit of a struggle there, huh? Cool, 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 cool. Our industrial score is 43, which isn't bad, seeing as we have literally no factories. Keeping on these guys. Intellectuals, bureaucrats. Bureaucrats, very nice. And you guys are taking a while over here, but that makes sense. There's still quite a few, well, Manchus. Well, there's nothing almost but Manchus down here. Which makes sense. It takes time to push people out of places. Not that I would know in real life. I think. Uh-oh. Ottomans, what are you doing? Oh, I'll build up uh, Benin. And maybe we can build up Haiti, too. Okay, maybe not. Well, maybe here we can. Sokoto? No, no, no. I want you under me. 
how much would it cost for us to go to war with Benin? 15 still. Can I go to war with China yet? I mean, I can, technically, but... Uh, no, guys, I'd be okay. <gasps> Wait, we can do a... Oh my god, we can do a punitive... Oh, I... We are going to war with Asia soon. Very, very soon, because that's only five of me. I want the punitive expedition. So I can get a nice little city. Because the British already took Hong Kong. Which I want. Which is always good to have. Uh, I think Shandong was, was pretty good as well. Obviously, I want this part as well. But uh, Ningbo... I forget. Shanghai, I think, is extremely important because they switched to precious metals eventually. So we have our armies around here. Ooh, you're not looking gr Ooh, what happened to that guy? Alright, let's take off... Uh, are we building another army? You mean Kiev? Are we waiting for someone else to show up here? There you go, have an artillery piece. Now let's do that. Take this off. Because you aren't looking as strong as you should. And what do you need? You need a horse. A horsey guy. Rebellion in our ally. It's not worth it. Gain infamy. Ooh. At... Oh, well. I don't have any boats around here, which is unfortunate. Persia. Persia. Good. That's good. Get our boats back, because we probably don't need them there anymore. You guys are not repairing, which makes sense. Come down to a port that where you can repair. We might go to war with them. Oh, I definitely want to go to war with Qing China in the next episode. So let's make sure we have enough armies. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, no, I feel like that's not enough. Oh, yeah, build some more railroads right there. And that'd be fine. Any else that I missed, maybe? Oh, right here. Nice. Eh, we can build up in Finland. You know, Finns, like I said, they're okay people. I don't feel secure yet, really. Going to war with Asia without getting at least a little bit more military tech. At least one more military tech, just because... Oh, uh, sure, why not? When we fought off those Africans, they, were, they weren't completely weak. No. Bureaucracy's looking pretty good right now. Looking pretty darn awesome. Bone, grant some extraterrestrial territory, blah blah blah, whatever, no one cares. Y'all get on a boat. And y'all come over here. Cut down to size. Pay reparations. Uh, sure, well, add a sphere. Oh, no. oh wait, maybe I should have done this first. Whatever, they don't have really have an army, so. You want to go ahead and land when you can. Make sure we're pretty peaceful with everyone else around here. Except the Ottomans. Tensions dissipate. That's nice. Austria. Oh, why does this America not like us? Can I like you, America? Nope. France likes us. You guys like us. That'd be very good. Very nice. Cool. But unfortunately, that's where I'm going to have to end this episode. Kind of on a cliffhanger, but we'll finish off this war later. Tomorrow, we're definitely going to go to war with the Chinese. I promise you that. And hopefully take a port. Now, I don't know which port's the best. I think it's Shanghai. That's the best port that we could probably take right now. Or maybe even... I don't know if it's Formosa that we can take, but at least Shanghai, probably. So, if you think a po different port is better, let me know in the comments below. And regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow as we have another great time in Victoria 2. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.